be known that all of you are the precious stones in the crown of God and also of this parish. So I ask you to pray as we offer these gifts to our eternal family. <coughs> Lord our God, we wish to offer you the sacrifice that pleases you, your Son Jesus Christ. Accept also through him the sacrifice of our lives, that with your Son we may die to sin and rise to new life in the realities of everyday living. Let this celebration reflect and express our pains and hopes, our trials and joys, in union with the Paschal Mystery of Jesus our Brother. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and grace. Father, it is our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ. By He is the Word through whom you made the universe, the Savior you sent to redeem us. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he took flesh and was born of the Virgin Mary. For our sake, he opened his arms on the cross. He put an end to death and revealed the resurrection. In this, he fulfilled your will and won for you a holy people. And so, we join the angels and saints as we sing. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise. Gave the cup to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. In memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life-giving bread, this saving cup. We thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and to serve you. May all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Make us for in love together with Francis, the Bishop of Rome, Terry, our Bishop, and all the clergy and lady. Remember those who have died for their faith in baptism. They also died with you. May they also share in your resurrection. Remember all our brothers and sisters who have gone to their rest in the hope of rising again. Bring them and all that departed into the light of your presence. 
Have mercy on us all. Make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with St. Joseph, St. Dorothy, the Apostles, and all of the saints who have done your will throughout the ages. May we praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ. And it, it is through Him with Him in Him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. table of the Lord.
just listen to it. Number 400. Lord our God, we have eaten with your Son the stale bread of our poverty and the refreshing bread of his strength. We have drunk with him the solemn wine of suffering and the tasty wine of joy and hope. May Jesus give us the courage to turn the sorrows that are part of our life into gifts of self to others and to make us reliable sources of strength and comfort and hope to all those we encounter in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Amen. On the 13th of September, uh, that's when we go to Second Harvest, so please just let me know if you'd like to come uh, so I can let them know about the media are coming. And I'm in discussions with Steamerhouse um, and also uh, the school district to see how we're going to start up the crock pot uh, stuff this year. Now, last night, okay, I, should, I don't know if I should say this. Oh, do it, just do it. Just do it. No, about <laughs> how the parish is. Yes. Uh, after Mike's party here, I went to another uh, 
uh, establishment that serves liquor called uh, Stonewall. And they had this organization that's here in Orlando called the Sisters of the Perpetual Indulgence. Uh, it is a takeoff on nuns. They dress up, the guys dress up as nuns and they have really heavy cold cream makeup white on their face. But the, uh, the mantra of their job or whatever is to be fundraisers. Uh, that's all they do is fundraising. And last night they did a fundraiser for MCC Church for their food pantry uh, over at Stonewall. And it was funny because after, after everything was done and we were just mingling around, I thought they didn't know who St. Dorothy's was or Father Anthony or I. Trust me. The sisters know who we are. Because okay. <laughs> they came over and they said, oh, it's Father Jim from St. Dorothy's. I'm like, oh, all right, I can't even be here. You know, you know. So obviously the word of this parish is out there. And I thank all of you for that. And they knew what we're doing. You know, so that is that. Might ask them to come and help us maybe to go find that here. Yeah. That would be interesting.